On this episode of The Sequence, I will show you how to make your 808s glide in the MPC software and in standalone. Yes, EMP. <laughs> Sequence. I'm using the MPC Live 2 in controller mode right now, so I'm gonna pull up the software so you can see that, and I'm gonna press play so you can hear the beat. Hey. I'm gonna stop it real quick, and we're gonna navigate to the left side of the screen because we need to talk about this part right here because this is very important. We're gonna set up the key group. So we have the main track here, or the sequence, and then you have your track, name it something so that you know that it's your 808 bass that you're gonna work on. Then we're gonna go to the drum program over here and select a key group. So that's the program that you need. The next thing you're gonna do is hit the plus sign because we need a new program. We're gonna name that program right now. We're gonna name it 808 Drill, okay? Boom. So now that we named it 808 Drill, I'll show you how to save it a little later. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to this part of the screen over here so that you know what's going on. Uh, you can load up your own instrument or whatever that's already used, like the F9 instruments or something like that. They have great bases in there, just in case you wanna rock with those. But I'm pretty sure you wanna use the sample. So at the bottom right part of the screen over here is where you would select your file browser and you would use this drop down menu right here so you can select stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and you can go to the and use the up menu to go backwards. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this right here. But the next thing I'm gonna do is just double tap. And now is in my samples. So that's a very important part here that you need to know, because you need to have that sample ready to go. So what you can do, since you're already in the key group, uh, you can go over here and load the sample up. And now that the sample is up, we can go and now to select that sample. And I'm gonna show you that I'm doing that. Now we need to go to program at edit. So make sure that you're on program edit. And we're gonna do a couple of things to make this 808 sing the way we want. So some of you guys might notice if I press multiple keys, it's playing multiple notes. We don't want that. We don't want it in poly mode. We need it in mono. So that cuts itself off. Now you might like to press down on the key and have that release. but I don't. So we need to go over here and adjust that part. So you have one shot note on, you can turn that off and go to one shot here. So that way you just hit the key or the pads in this instance, obviously. Now everything is up to my standard. You can do further things to make this a little better for you, but you know, in this instance here, we're good to go. So now we have our bass in here. And I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. Let's turn it down. You can actually hear that it's already gliding and that's just the natural effect of that 808 here. You could just go ahead and you can see that you have key group pitch bend. So let's experiment with key group pitch bend. Now that we messed with key group pitch bend, we didn't get anything out of that. Uh, and that's because you might have to go into something called Portamento and Portamento is already here. So Portamento is one of the different things that you can pull up here. Uh, within your track, pitch bend, you can see it right here, and you can do automation in this area right here. So you got parameters, and you can you can just automate stuff like uh, portamental time. Uh, and this is important that you go and you change this right here, this pencil, to this pencil right over here from select, because if you don't, you can't draw in here. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw in here in 16ths is tied to your TC, so if you have TC off, 
it will draw like this right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use undo. And let's hear it. And it's kind of a hot mess, and that's because you have to dictate what your parameto is going to do. So ramping it all the way up to uh, that, to 127, won't get it. So you want to make sure that you have it at least at 50%. And you'll notice a difference here. So boom. Let's go ahead and play that. Go ahead and uh, lower everything to like 50%. So just be mindful of that. And then you'll, you'll hear parliamental time. <laughs> you got to draw it to make sense because you don't want it to uh, slide crazy like that the whole entire time so you know it just takes a little bit of time but you know anything that you're working on it's going to take a little bit of time but that's uh, part of mental sliding that way uh, there are some other interesting things that you can do with this and that's where things get a little crazy uh, that's where you would go into like something like key group parameters and then we're gonna highlight a parameter called LFO to pitch. So LFO to pitch, let's select that. And we're gonna slide over to program edit over here. Now, what you wanna do is set up your LFO that you wanna use. I, I like using triangle. And now I'm going to select, maybe you can select one of these. I, I just usually leave it on none uh, because I just like my stuff crazy. And then we're going to take the LFO rate down. We're going to make it really slow. And now you can have wild 808s. Of course, you select your pencil tool and you can take the TC off, turn it off or whatever, and then you'll apply it. So let's go ahead and apply it to this area. Got to be mindful here if you have TC off or whatever, because uh, sometimes that will get a little bothersome. So I might just delete that, lower it down a little bit. And go. Remember, you're messing with right here. So now if you really want those wild glidey 808s, you can have that uh, within your production or whatever. Or whatever. So, you know, I'm going to show you some other things too as well, because you might want to filter off a bass or something like that to get like a higher frequency of some sort. And then you just go ahead and add that in there. You go into a uh, key group and parameters. And you would, uh, you can actually assign this to your filters, to a different filter. Or whatever so let's see you have filter and filter cutoff let's mess with that a little bit and let's uh see what we can come up with so i have that going to pencil mode uh, let's mess with that and see what that would do If you want to do that, of course, you can make it faster. Uh, you can assign it to the filter. You can assign your LFO to your filter here. And then you can assign different time signatures too. Just like that, simple as that. So let's go ahead and move over to standalone so I can show you how to do it in there. It's pretty easy to do. So I'm still in controller mode. Keep in mind that controller mode is not exclusive to the MPC Live 2. It's in the MPC 1 and the X as well and the old MPC Live. So 
I'm going to hit menu and I'm going to hit this little sign over here that looks like a TV. I'm going to wave my hand so you can see that. Hit that. Then go back into standalone mode. Boom. And it's going to set it up. I'm just showing you guys this so that way you'll understand that you can hear it disconnect from my computer. Uh, empty project here. If I was to go back into the screen over here, you can see it's disconnected from the software. I'm pressing the buttons over here and it's not doing anything. That's fine. So now I'm going to go and pull up the, the track that we was just working on. You know, some of the dope stuff that's really dope about the MPC. And I'm going to go over here into my SD card slot and load it up. So MPC song project is under drill Tendo and it's under drill sergeant. So I'm going to go ahead and load that up. Now we're back into it. Main menu. Now you can hear it, of course, the way it is here and it's still. And here's how it sounds like in the DAW. It's a little louder, too. But, you know. All right. So now let's go ahead and deep dive and use that 808 line that we just did in standalone mode. And we're going to uh, create do that exact same thing, which is very easy to do. First, you would go shift in grid mode. Or if you're on MPC one, you would just hit grid. And now I'm just going to go over here and navigate to my MIDI over here. And now you can get into anim uh, automation by going over here to this little up arrow. And now we can set the automation up. So go over here to velocity. because That's what is selected. And now we're going to go over here and we can actually do portamento right now, but I'm just going to do add new. I'm going to key groups and I'm going into parameters and I'm going to set it up for success here. I'm going to uh, LFO to pitch. Boom. And now that I have LFO to pitch, you know, I can just draw in whatever right now. And let's hear it. Now it's doing it, but of course, remember, I got it uh, enter program edit. So, you know, just go into your program edit on here. You will hold menu and then press program edit on your MPC live and live too. Of course, you know, the one has the specific button. Now I'm going to go over here to LFO modulation from this screen and I'm going to set it up for success. So I'm going to go over here and select a triangle. Uh, I can change the rate, of course. And the rate will sound a little better now. And let's hear it. Now going back into my grid and then I will select it again. Go over here. See, you see key group LFO to pitch. Boom. And now I can start drawing again. Uh, remember it's tight in your TC. So you might have to turn your time correction off if you really want to get detailed. But I find uh, going into, you know, smaller increments like 132 or 164 uh, useful. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Boom. Now we'll just draw it in there. I'm going to pitch it down so I can see everything. So, you know, you can draw in your pitch 808. This is actually easier to do on standalone. So I, I got to make sure that I do it correctly, though. And you also can do the pitch thing, too, as well. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that in there and just get rid of. And remember, anything that you draw is relative, depending on how you set up your LFO. And it's also tied to your TC. So it's of course you can still go into things like portamento, set up your portamento and, and then you can draw stuff in the way you want. Of course, there's other things too, as well that I want to expose in this video, but I just wait. Mm -hmm. 